Hey guys, a um, little review on this clutch bandsaw. I picked it up from Northern Tool. They're like $250 plus $30 shipping, so that's $280. And um, I found a $50 coupon online, and then so I used that. And then a couple days later, it went on sale for $230. So I called Northern Tool up, and they credited me back $20, bucks, so that was really cool of them. Um, so I've been using it, and I'll show you some other saws that I use as well. Uh, I do a lot of different fabrication from uh, trucks and 4x4s to working on my rigs and my trailers and making caster plates for tools around here, welding tables, a uh, little bit of everything. Aluminum, steel. Um, so anyways, I wanted something to cut small rod width or small channel like as you see here I got a piece of one inch by or inch and a quarter by three inch aluminum in here we'll run through real quick um, and then we got another piece of seam wall I don't know inch and inch by eighth inch or so uh, just just some seam wall but anyways um, <clears throat> this saw comes with it says it comes with an 812 blade um, I'm gonna order some 1014s on eBay I think they're like 16 bucks and yeah, probably better quality this one had where it's welded it's got a nice cha chunk Cha chunk cha chunk every time it goes through um, and then the motor I mean it, it this thing says made in China and the, the what is it the fan saw or hem saw him is like three times as much it's like 500 bucks and looking at the pictures on the line it looks like the exact same saw on trick tools it says the hem is made in the EU in Europe somewhere I don't know where I don't know if that's true. I mean, unless these guys got the same tooling and same castings, because it is the same. It's the same freaking saw. Anyways, uh, this motor, you know, cheap Chinese stuff. It is loud. It is noisy. Um, does not sound smooth at all. I mean, it sounds like it's got freaking rocks in the bearings. It is variable speed. That's cool. Um, this trigger. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it looks like it wants to fall apart already. It's all loosey-goosey in here, but I don't know it works. Um, you have on-off switch, so you turn this on and then you hit the trigger. If this trigger takes a shit, I'll probably just wire it straight to the switch. Um, so anyways, this device itself, it's, it's, you know, it's fine for this saw. Uh, they are not Acme threads, big deal. You're not exerting that much force on it. Um, and this whole thing swivels, it's got, it does hold zero, and then, uh, you know, you can loosen this up, it's got nice levers, so that, that swivels to 45, that's nice, really nice actually, and let's lock that back down real quick, and then, uh, you know, this thing's got the lock on, well, shit, can't put the lock on, but anyways, it's got a lock, so you can kind of carry it around. It weighs, I don't know, 35 or 40 pounds. It's light enough to carry around, and that was one of the main reasons I got it, because I've got a Steel Max 14-inch uh, dry cut saw, and that thing is so heavy, and I don't have a dedicated place for it, so I keep it in one of the drawers, and every time I want to use it, it's just a pain in the ass to bring out. Anyways, um, and then what I've had a problem with, I was using some cutting fluid, and these cheap bearings that the blade rides on they locked up on me already on the first cut so I'm probably gonna take those apart well no I am going to take those apart get the part number off them and I'll order some uh, Zulu Zulus off of um, eBay the ZZ at the end of a bearing means it's shielded on both sides one Z is shielded on one side two Z's is shielded on both sides and since you got metal shavings everywhere you're gonna want shielded on both sides anyways um, so let's let's go ahead and cut this piece of aluminum. I'll show you. It's a noisy son of a gun, like I said. And let's uh, I'm not running it too hard. You know, letting this thing kind of break in real quick. I ran a few uh, cuts on it, but let's uh, let's go ahead and run this and show you guys what's going on. Oh, another thing. This is adjustable. It slides quite a ways up, so that's nice. It'll you know keep your blade square. Uh, the blade was pretty square from the factory. I did a little minor adjustment, but um, I was surprised it was as square as it was. So anyways, I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes to cut this 3 by inch and a quarter aluminum. So here we go.
All right, so that was a little bit more than, I don't know, 47, 48 seconds. And that's cool to the touch. Uh, let's see if you can see that. So that's a pretty clean, that thing not focusing. Fucking thing. Anyways, um, clean cut. I'm happy with it. And um, I did that dry. I didn't use cutting fluid or cutting oil just because it makes a freaking mess. And I wanted you guys to kind of see with the camera what's going on. And I don't know if it's probably not really necessary to use cutting fluid with that anyways, but it is good practice. Makes a freaking mess. Let's cut this seam wall uh, steel. Let you guys see what's going on with that. Here we go. Alright, so 25 seconds or so, same thing again, clean cut, yeah, a little warm, but not bad. Um, hell of a lot better than abrasive. So, anyways, I give it a pass. Um, I tried to see if this was, I tried to look up part numbers on this motor, see if maybe I could find a better motor already. I couldn't find anything on it. I'll, I'll show you what the motor tag says. But anyways, um, and you know, it, it, it's tiny stuff. The motor says 8.7 amps. The tag says 8.4 amps. Big deal. Who cares? But, you know, it's, what do you expect for 250 bucks? Um, but I give it a pass. I, I do like it. And I'll show you what I have to compare it to. Um, okay, let's see. So, there's a, it says, you know, 3 by 4 inch. And then, there's a tag on the motor. I don't know if I can't get this damn thing to zoom. Okay, and then, so here's my other bandsaw, and um, this is variable speed, and that will do one inch plate. I, I just, I got new blades and new tires for it, and actually changed the motor and put a new paddle switch on it. So anyways, that, that, that's nice. It's a pretty beefcake little saw. And then, over here, this is what I use a lot. Um, the little M12 bandsaw. That thing is awesome. Highly recommend it. And the M18 metal saw. That thing's awesome. I cut a lot of plate with that. I hardly use my plasma cutter at all unless I'm doing curves because this is just so much cleaner of a cut, easier. It's noisy too, but what do you expect, you know? Hey, um, and, but I love this saw, five and three eight six blade. The manic, and this I'll do three inch quarter inch with. And teen, we got um, it's an a big M8 bandsaw. You know that thing really ever have kicker out with, but I don't know. I would hard pull it or five inch beyond much need, and then you know for the big cuts, uh, metal. Oh, the electric one, big, uh, one inch plate well, and so and that old ass kicker is and then uh, over here, then there's the Steel Max uh, 14 inch dry cut, and that thing's a heavy pig. It you know, I'll pull it out if I need to, doing big you know, I beams or channel or something like that, but uh, it's it's not that fun to pull out, and you know, it. It makes a little bit of a mess. Nothing like an abrasive. I mean, I'll, I will not use abrasive uh, cutoff blades anymore. I haven't for years, and I'll never go back. But anyways, um, yeah, bandsaws is where it's at, and I uh, I recommend this clutch bandsaw. So you know, I, I think I think it's the same one as the whatever that is, Ham, Fam, whatever uh, the red one. Oh, and they also sell this. I saw it on the Home Depot website uh, called General, under the name brand General, and it's about the same price. The reason I didn't go with that one is Northern Tool has a one-year warranty on this, and then you can also spend 25 bucks and get another one-year warranty, and 
And I, when I tried to buy that, it said it's not available for my zip code. So I don't know if that was a glitch in the matrix, but I need to call Northern Tool and see what's going on with that. Anyways, I think the general one on Home Depot's website only had like a 30 day warranty. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, and then you also got the stop right here. You put it in there, bolt it in, and you can slide the stop in and out to get, you know, repeated measurements. So, anyways, I really like this thing. Um, I don't know how long it will last. That motor, like I said, it sounds like shit. So, we, we will see. I'll uh, keep it updated. And uh, this, I'll put the YouTube, or the video on YouTube, and I'm going to write a review on Garage Journal. Um, so, maybe Welding Web as well. Alright, guys.